Hi guys, can you hear me? Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. We'll begin in, in a minute. Uh, we have a minute, yes. Hope you guys are having a great morning at home. Uh, the view that you see, you can see Shahadri Mountains right there. Uh, I'll show you more of the view uh, at later point. But the weather is just awesome. It's uh, it's beautiful. It's not cold. It's not warm. Slightly breezy it was. Yes, it still is breezy. So it's a beautiful morning here. Great, we already have 62 of you here. Yeah, we have a minute. Hello, Girija ji. Good to have you here. Welcome to ABCD with Praveen. Okay, today I am not going to switch on your audio. What I did was yesterday I switched on your audio for a bit. And uh, that actually created a lot of noise because, uh, you know, uh, 115 people uh, there and and uh, more than a dozen talking together it uh, actually creates a lot of uh, cacophony and uh, that uh, basically i was not audible because I, I i went through the recording of yesterday so today uh hope it's okay with you if i am uh, not put you putting your audio on right because i want everybody to hear me okay so i am extremely happy you are 63 of you are here uh let me welcome a very very special person on abcd day one after the intro session yesterday uh miss mallika sarabhai she is here uh thank you so much uh didi to be here and uh, we all are going to learn so much from you just by your sheer presence in this group uh, and she is the special special person or the guest or maybe participant whatever we want to call it and i really feel honored to have her here yeah let's welcome her okay okay so now we begin i we are on time it's 10 31 and uh, we should begin so let me first begin uh, first let me check i am audible right just one person somebody can't see the video pradeep uh, if you can help okay huh okay i am audible so anybody who has any query you can put it on uh, the chat box. Uh, the Pradeep is online. Pradeep's number is there. He's uh, the IT person. He's uh, he's there to his he and his team is going to help you in case there's any technical hitch. I am not going to uh, talk about it right now. Okay. Okay. Seventy one participants right now. I am first going to kind of sum up the intro session which we had yesterday. Uh, first, we actually talked about what is drawing. Now, drawing at large is understood as drawing on drawing on something drawing on paper you're drawing by pencil right and for once we i i requested you to see drawing in a very different way it's like it's not drawing on it's about drawing from like drawing water from the well like you know it's all about your eyes with eyes you draw from your surrounding right that that whole understanding changes the way you start seeing the world right and and all these skills that you develop by by moving this pencil on your paper that that's that's just very small part of the larger things right and what at the end of this these uh, abcd sessions i all i all i want to is have the sheer joy fall in love with, with drawing uh, all over again if you have fallen in love before uh, and if not then th th that's a challenge for me i really want you to fall in love and i'm sure most of you will just stick around uh, there will be moments where you uh, kind of get a little confused, but uh, and and seem like oh nothing is happening. A little frustration would happen, but that's all part of learning anything in life, right? So that was number one. Uh, we also talked about uh, uh, most of the time we draw to impress somebody, like you know we we are seeking validation or appreciation, right? For once, let's not do that at all. Let's not do that. Uh, uh let's 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 draw to learn drawing to learn 
to see things. And we also talked about yesterday about the difference between looking and seeing. Now, looking is uh, uh, looking like everybody looks at things, like you look at people, you look at objects around, right? But looking is not enough. Uh, you have to see things, and that's that's much more. You see when you see, you not just look. You go beyond that. You you look. You uh, you see. You look at the texture. You look at everything. So many looking makes seeing right so that's that's something that i would like you to train i'll share techniques that you can use to be able to see uh, what we are going to learn we are going to learn drawing we are going to learn uh, several techniques of uh, painting uh, several mediums uh, we are also going to have some sense of composition now that will also help those who uh, you know play with their cameras you know you or figure out what is a uh, basic sense of aesthetics that you have. So those are the things that we're going to learn in these sessions. So now I, I want you to be ready with your sketchbooks uh, and pencil, right? So first thing first, in the sense, you have to take your inhibitions off. You're not drawing to show anybody. Nobody is going to, you do not have to share it anywhere as of now, right? I will tell you if that is the time arrives when you can actually share your things right now. If you feel like sharing, I'm not stopping you. But the purpose of whatever you draw is not to show somebody, right? It's for yourself. So take out any kind of sketchbook or notebook, even ruled will do, right? What you have to do is take your pencil, whatever pencils. I have a slightly better pencil. Uh, this is a charcoal pencil. Uh, but that I, I'll use an ordinary pencil. I think that will be good. Uh, I'll introduce you with uh, uh, my colleague Govind. Uh, many of you who, are, who have been my friends for many years knows him. Uh, Govind helps me always. He has been there with me for more than 20 years now. Uh, Govind, can you just come here? He's Govind and uh, hello. Yeah, so uh, he's, he's, he's my friend and colleague uh, for, for, for about 20 years now. Yeah. Okay, many people are saying uh, from Arpit to Manakshi to Pratik saying, uh, uh, even Malikadiri saying hi. So, uh, so Govind is going to be around. He's going to help me help us in uh, delivering all this. Yeah. Okay. So first thing first. One important lesson that I have talked about yesterday is the biggest problem with drawing is we start expressing ourselves on paper in terms of outlines of things, right? And outlines is, 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 that's where the problem happens. We stop seeing things. When you see things, things do not exist in terms of their outlines, right? And we almost feel uh, a, a compulsive, like necessity to, to put things in terms of outlines because if things exist in three dimension, we have to convert in two dimension, like, a, piece of paper or canvas. So therefore we have to kind of put it, that, that whole compulsive notion that you have, you have to slightly do away with it. And think about in two dimensional also, you can actually put things the way they exist in terms of the texture, in terms of the light falling on it, in terms of the objects they have, okay? Okay, so now, uh, for example, I'll, I'll draw a few things. What you have to do is, I assume you are at home, right? And you have access to limited things. Now you actually, uh, uh, after I give a little demo, you have to go uh, to, to your dining table or kitchen, pick up one object. It could be a teapot, it could be uh, some kind of con container, which is slightly interesting, right? In terms of shape, not in terms of the texture or little detailing that, do not look at the detailing right now. But the shape, if the shape is interesting, just take that. Yeah, Let light fall on it from one side. Keep it in a place where it is visible. And you have to draw a gesture drawing. Now, now let me emphasize on the point what, where I'm saying gesture drawing. Now, gesture doesn't stay for long. You see dancers, they actually flow in, in the space, right? And they, they're constantly moving. At the, the time they move, the whole gesture kind of each and every moment is saying something right even that object when is there in on, on, on in a space it has a gesture right and when the light falls on it 
it reaches your eyes in a particular way okay and all you have to do is and it changes you, you turn it around you change the light you turn around and everything suggests your drawing and these are not going to be more than two three minutes drawing now you do not have to draw much of details that's a nice breeze coming i hope my this least disturbance in terms of audio if it is then i'll have to change it this is a place where we have a uh, uh, lots of breeze okay so uh, okay so i'll i'll draw a few things right now in front of you and uh, uh, all you have to do is just notice it for a moment uh, govin did find some pieces of charcoal and i am going to basically draw with this um i'll draw an object i'll draw what do i draw okay i'll draw a, a teapot and i'll take exactly about 2 to 2 and a half minutes to do that right so suppose you you first things first if you have a that's something that is on top of it and this i'm making it slightly bigger so that you can actually it there those who can't see right now it's slightly light because i'm drawing with the pencil right now i'll soon be drawing with now it has some gesture okay so there's a teapot out there is it visible to people okay no wait no our pitch says no i will make it prominent i hope this is visible now So this is a gesture. Like it'll have its reflection, whatever you see from around, right? And you have things like this. So whatever, whatever you see, and and the other things I talked about yesterday, you have to remember those things. I'll just repeat that for those who have joined today. I'm going to repeat all those. So this basically is something like this. So you can you can do it with pencil. So there's a. So this is a gesture drawing of a. teapot okay so i'm i'm using this term just for drawing the purpose so this is well that's visible very nice now okay was that visible thank you so basically what you're going to do is you're going to take your pencil chalk charcoal whatever you have a dry pencil why not now try to do quick two minute just a drawing of things right and uh, i'm going to also keep a count i'm not i, I at this point of time i am not opening your video and your audio right now so that i am visible uh, i am audible to all of you audible is being more important than being visible because instructions are important here uh, okay so 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 um, i'm giving you one minute time right now go and pick up anything if not just pick up a spoon even spoon has a beautiful texture and gesture and shape right pick up anything that you have in your house don't break it huh <laughs> take a minute go around and pick up so you can even pick up a dustbin if you like it right uh if you have a lota if you have any jug if you have a any teapot uh just pick it up and and come back yeah somebody can't hear uh, just reach out to pradeep pradeep's number is there on the chat box is to assist you on uh, the technical part others your time has started now why 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 yeah tanmay good morning i can see many familiar names there hi rebecca hello sheetal junaid nice to see you here same here tanmay say hello to meher also okay so 30 seconds more 30 seconds more pavni is not able to hear 
please reach out to Pradeep. People, you have 15 seconds more to pick up some object. Hello, Ravinder Ji. People, five more seconds. I love doing these countdowns. Those who are familiar with ABCD, the, those who have participated in ABCD in the past, they know how I love, how much I love these countdowns. Okay, I think you have found things. Can you can you answer this? Have you have you? Okay, Caesars. Yes. Why not? It will do. Yes. Hello, Sapna. Fantastic. Okay. There's so many yes. Great. Okay. Now I'm going to keep time. I'm going to give you three minutes initially. Uh, for the first two drawings, right? Uh, do not draw very small. Try to make it as big as as big as your uh, notepad or sketchbook or the paper that you have allows you to do, right? Make it as big as possible, much bigger than the object also if need be, right? So yeah, your time starts now. See, I'm actually keeping a time here, right? I'm giving you three minutes and I'll keep giving you instructions. You're not looking at me now. I'm, you're only going to listen to me in all this time, right? Your time starts now. You'll share the drawings with me. Uh, I will see the drawings at some point of time. Uh, do not worry about it. Right now, you just do the drawing. Yeah, I'll tell you how I'm going to see your drawing. Yesterday I tried, but then there was a lot of noise. Uh, I just wanted to avoid that. And we're going to have another session. Uh, and before that, I'm going to get all the drawings from you. Just click that picture and you can send it to me. Okay, 30 seconds gone. You have uh, two and a half more minutes. Okay, just keep, keep drawing. Start from any point of time. Keep your hands on the paper. Keep moving it. Keep going back and forth. Every time you move your uh, pencil, you're actually subconsciously you're actually also measuring it look at the texture of the thing that you're doing right look at look at the light how the light is falling on it right and uh, all those things are going to basically you more you see more you put stress on your eyes yeah it'll, it'll suddenly start taking shape uh, give more effort to it you have one minute done you have two more minutes for doing that and and continue doing whatever you're doing yeah and then just keep just keep your hands moving do not do not stop at any point of time right hmm. so one must one must always draw draw with the eyes when one cannot draw with pencil right and learning to draw is really a matter of learning to see to see correctly and it's not about merely looking at things. It's about seeing, right? Mm. Salvador Dali once said, drawing is the honesty of the art. There is no possibility of cheating. It is either good or bad. Yeah, so how much time you had? You had two minutes, you have one more minute. Uh, I repeat, yesterday I talked about it. This is not a creativity class. Huh? This is not a creativity class. You are not imagining anything, right? This is only drawing whatever you are seeing in front of you. There's absolutely zero imagination. Yeah, You are drawing to enjoy. You're not drawing to show it to anybody, to get validation, yeah? Okay, I'll introduce to another very interesting person. Let me finish it off. You have 15 more seconds. 15 more seconds. This is a big 54 acre campus and we are just a handful of people here. And we are locked down here happily uh, enjoying our days. Okay, time is up. Three minutes up. Okay, I'm going to look at this drawing. Just, just think in the sense, ki you, you, this is one drawing that is something that, am I audible to people? I have to keep ch checking. Yes, fantastic. Uh, Raju bhai, Raju Sarada. 
put a very very important person who is behind Hi, designing this campus mr raju pujari and then say hello to raju yeah hello thank well, you raju a nice sir. program thank you for watching thank you for this it's a very beautiful campus i'm going to show you everything and and uh, raju bhai is one person who is behind this okay now uh wait so you have you have drawn an object that you found in your house now there's so much in that right i want you to draw the same object now put it in a slightly different gesture now change the gesture right your spoon or the glass or the pot is a dancer is a performer right in front of you right just change it a bit change the gesture or maybe you change your position a bit just keep listening to me you do not have to look at me at all i can i can switch off my video and you do not have to look at me at all right transparent vase okay pallavi is asking trans transparent vase of course you can but it's slightly difficult because there's so much of reflection and refraction in that no uh, if you have to train yourself a little more take something just simple uh, a cup a tea cup a spoon simple things are much better so therefore do not take anything that is transparent i should have instructed that in the beginning but yes you have an orange fantastic spray bottle himshika nice hello fabi great so your time starts now for the second drawing 3 minutes drawing the same thing use your pencil or your charcoal to get the gesture huh? somebody has a beer mug Cheers. Water bottle. Yes, that's one of the most uh, uh, important things in our house. Pen holder. Yes. Nail polish. Fantastic. Sanitizer bottle. I think we have too many of them in our houses now. <laughs> Rajesh Shree. Cheers. Steel bottle. Now steel bottle. Of course. Yes. Why not? it will have lot of reflection including you will be able to see yourself also if you actually uh, look uh, if you see it carefully right not just look at it okay i think i'll have to change the position a bit the sun is coming okay so um okay continue you have two more minutes i'll change my position a bit you have two more minutes just continue trying ha huh? okay that's it so start from any point draw it as big as possible and uh, you know it do not do not try avoiding drawing in terms of outlines there's much more to it yeah just draw anything but the outline to begin with you'll start seeing much more you'll be actually seeing so much in that that little object has so much of drawing in it yeah what to do with this drawing you keep the drawing with you as of now i'm going to look at it much later not now these are baby steps that you're taking huh? uh a major part of this whole abcd sessions are going to be a lot of unlearning the way we see drawing we're going to have we have to look at drawing very very differently yeah somebody doesn't have a drawing book or a pencil uh well that's uh, you need a pencil without pencil you won't be able to uh, uh kind of draw anything pencil definitely you need uh, you have to be an artist to be able to draw without a pencil because uh drawing is about seeing but it's okay just i i don't think that's a much difficult task to figure out pencil from somewhere get some paper that's about it nothing else you need
Okay, you have one more minute to finish the second drawing. There's something interesting has happened while you are drawing. We are 100 participants already right now. And uh, mostly from this part of the world, I have uh, started another session from today evening. There'll be another session for people who are from the other side of the globe. Yeah. So that nobody has to wake up in VRs or maybe like stay awake till very late. Yeah, we are 100 participants and that's really, really pleasing. I'm thankful to all of you to be part of this. Okay, 15 more seconds and you should be done with your second drawing. Mm, Gitanjali, I don't know I, if I can repeat everything. Uh, you'll probably have to go through the recording of this session. Try to be on time, please. We start on time. I'm not going to delay even 30 seconds any day. That's my promise from my side. Please be there two minutes or three minutes before the scheduled time, all of you. We all are going to help each other then. Yes, so uh, your time is up. I hope you have uh, actually uh, drawn the second, you're done with the second drawing. Yep. I mean, if you're done with the second drawing, like both the drawings, and what do you feel? Can I, can I, can I, can some of you express your feelings in the sense? Oh, uh, done. Couldn't finish. It's okay not to finish. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Completed. Done. Dissatisfied. No problem at all. You do not have to, you're not seeking validation. You don't have to satisfy anybody, including yourself. Right? Just keep moving your hand. Uh, from the childhood, actually, we have been, uh, there's a lot of stigma around expressing ourselves visually. Yeah. Right from your parents says no when you actually start expressing something on the wall uh, to your, even, even your drawing teacher, like they actually tell you this is how things should be and anything other than this is not good, right? Anyway, so couldn't finish, couldn't finish. it doesn't matter. It's okay not to finish. Huh? You, but, but then, yeah, listen. You do not give yourself endless time. It's okay not to finish, right? Put a stopwatch. Now, this is the technique that you have to practice. Right? Put a stopwatch. Put a beep at the end of three minutes, right? Make it as big as possible. See the shadows, see the texture. Based on that, keep moving your hand, right? Uh, I'll show you probably another drawing uh, that will also help you uh, in trying to uh, kind of understand what exactly I'm trying to say. Uh, Okay, somebody's saying getting the perspective right. You know what? You know, we actually burden ourselves too much with these technical words, right? We will talk about perspective. Do not, do not think about proportions. This is this is one terrible thing. Mira proportion This is a usual expression, right? Doesn't matter. Proportion means nothing. It will happen, right? It will happen. You know, when you cook something, that also is all, all about proportions. It happens when you actually keep doing it over a period of time. Okay. I have no idea how to do shading, but I'm hopeful I learned. Of course, yes. Of course, yes. Great. Now, I'll show you a little demo now, uh, the second demo. And after that, I'll ask you to draw again uh, some other object this time. Yeah. Okay, here I am. Let me put my sketch, close it by my easel, close it to you. Okay, fantastic. Mutras are slightly easier, Aditi. <laughs> Okay. Fine. See, uh, again, when we try and draw somebody, we, we actually end up looking at that person. We, we actually look at that person in all dimensions, but we end up making a two-dimensional uh, drawing out of it. One of the reasons is actually 
in the, in the childhood when in the standard 1 or 2 we have drawings of all the great leaders or thinkers mahapurush jisko bolte hain and then uh most of these are drawn in terms of outlines and that's where i think that gets inside us because people has to be in terms of outline yeah now you see how things happen i'll i'll try and draw if i have to draw a human being here uh okay let's have a vote uh child or an adult or an old person what do you want me to draw adult 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 okay female or a male somebody says child old person oh my god there's two variety so anyway so i'll start with adult and i'll also make a child and an old person okay i'll make a female adult okay this fantastic female adult okay so so uh okay before i actually make let me uh, talk about some basics fundamentals how a skull is basically we have a skull like this right yes you can see that right there was skull like this now the skull remains the same skull remains the same what happens is during the childhood our whole gesture okay so that's it, the whole thing is different in the childhood and then when we become become slightly grown up what happens is you have these gestures coming in features because much sharper right so this is this is the difference that happens huh the child and slightly adult uh now slightly more grown up like full adult features will get sharper and that's how it is you can always add hair and other things that's, that's not problem now the same thing happens with the old person but how the whole thing changes let's see okay you can see this so in the old person what would happen is you have this features coming in here then you have okay so you see all these features the, the way changes has happened the nose the whole form of the nose goes downwards right and and then whole so you know what this 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 you just have to remember this to practice a bit and understand this so there will be more lines here with the old man and and so that's that's how it is so more adult and this is like more of uh see the chick here right anyway so so this is this is how it is right this you have to remember a bit then i am going to talk about okay many person wants me to draw so this is how it is this is this you do not this is not how you draw this is what you keep inside your mind what you draw i am going to show you now you going to draw is you're not going to draw in terms of outlines anymore yeah that's it okay so you 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 see a person like how how do you see a person you look at like which angle you want of that person to happen right so so suppose in you want to draw a person who is so you basically start drawing the way that 
not in terms of outline, but in terms of light and shadow of how things are, right? This is one thing that you have to remember how everything is connected. I'm not lifting my pencil. I'm not lifting my charcoal from this whole game, right? So I'm just looking at the light and shadow of this like whole game. There's a lot of light and shadow falling. Okay. Of any individual, they'll be slightly different from each other. Fundamentals will be the basics will be the same, similar, if not same. Okay. I hope you're able to see all this. So the portions which are where the light won't fall, that will get darker, right? So the light is not falling, so it's much more darker, yeah. And it's just another person, is no specific person here. Where the neck part, because the light is not falling inside, so it'll it'll be much darker anyway. Okay. So this is how things happen. Here. So what, what I'm doing is I'm constantly moving my thing, my charcoal, okay? Okay. So, 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 now that's about it. What I want you to do now is uh, attempt to draw anybody who is there around you, right? You actually uh, will have, uh, it need not be human beings all the time. If you have pet, nothing like it, because pet actually, you know, they, they'll have all the time for you. If they're sitting there, they can actually be, I believe, just a minute. The sun falling on this, even the sun falling on the camera. So that's the reason why. Okay, thanks, thanks, thanks. Yeah, I think we are towards the end, the last uh, few minutes that we have, three to four minutes. Okay, now, now I can, I can hear, uh, uh, I can, I can read some of the comments saying good drawing strokes. Do not bother, these are not strokes at all. Think about, just keep moving. There is no rule you do not, that need not be vertical or horizontal. Just it, it can go from left to right, top to bottom, anywhere to anywhere, right? This is a method in madness. That method you will find, right? First, be mad. Just be crazy. Let's free our hands. The first few sessions are going to be about, you know, unshackling those those ideas of, of drawing so that we see drawing in a completely new light. Okay, pun intended. <laughs> okay now mm, no 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 nothing from memory oh wait 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 nothing from memory that you are going to draw this is not about creativity if you <laughs> if you're following my instruction do not draw from anywhere either from memory or from like somebody else's drawing you're basically drawing from real life right not even from like computer and images as of now i'll tell you when right now pick up a 3D object, any object or a person, and what you do is try and make uh, something out of it, okay? Okay, I believe the sun has come. To tomorrow I'll be uh, in a slightly different, now Govind is actually holding this, else I'll be blurred. Okay, with this, I think we're in the last one minute. I Any comments that you have, uh, if you want me to answer, I, I am not switching on your audio or video now today because of the disturbance we had yesterday. We'll just be one way communication to begin with as of now. I'm going to look at all your drawing. I'm going to email you now personally. It has been automated mail that you have got. Uh, Pallavi says how to make nose and lips. Okay, 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 now very important. You have to forget the idea of what is nose and what are eyes. Do not see these things as separate things. You're not drawing eyes. You're just seeing whatever 
whatever is there you're being very honest to yourself you're not not telling yourself you're so honest to yourself that you're not even telling yourself that that i'm drawing eyes right you're drawing an object which is right in front of you the way it is looking you are just pretending to capture that right so do not the whole idea of nose is different from what it is in front of you the idea of eyes is different in your mind than what it is right in front of you draw what is in front of you right i can't see anybody i right now i am i am not because i there, there are 94 participants and it's very difficult for me to concentrate and we have very limited time everybody's time is precious mm what should be the ideal distance between the object and that's a fantastic question okay so so something where it is comfortable for you probably a hand distance like uh, uh, three feet two feet that's a good distance for smaller objects if you have bigger objects then that's even far uh, from you that's perfectly fine there's no problem with that right uh, what is drawing uh, a real object difficult than drawing it with this nothing called difficult and easy yeah <laughs> you draw you enjoy everything will happen yeah? and if you do not draw everything is difficult so that is going to happen right pets yes pets yes of course yes how to draw well just be around with me you'll be able to know how to draw yeah just be around for for these few days of lockdown the day lockdown is over we are done by the way you'll be in a stage where you'll actually uh, love expressing yourself visually that's the only thing yeah i'll take one more minute how to access recording uh, we're trying to figure out most probably we'll be able to send you recordings uh, today's recording today <laughs> Ritika's naughty pet move. It'll keep moving, and that that's even better because they'll give you exactly whatever, like not exactly, but very little time to draw. Quickly draw and then move on from there, right? Simple toy, why not? Uh, what should be the basics of drawing? Basics of drawing is whatever you see, try and capture in whatever ways you want, right? Not the existing ways, the way your drawing teacher has taught you. No. just figure out your own ways we all are different human beings we have different pair of eyes we see things differently from each other right and then that's what uh, what about all yes how to do symmetry again another uh, srijit says how to do symmetry from the left and right of a symmetry you do not have to bother about it no you're not drawing to impress anybody not even yourself so what you're drawing is you just try and see do not try to try to attempt proportion symmetry line quality forget about all these perspective these are terminologies we will we'll, we'll see when it's needed now right now just unleash yourself from all these notions yeah uh i'll try to draw me <laughs> great fantastic so i think with this uh, we are at 11:13 right now okay we have two more minutes 11:15 is when it ends uh and i'm going to uh, first of all thank you so much thank you didi for coming today hope to see you uh, as often you i know you're extremely busy and uh, if you can find some time to come sometimes if you come frequently nothing like it and if not then at least come sometime to encourage all of us okay uh thanks a lot it was a great session enjoy thank you so much to you too i tried to draw my dad and if he had a mustache <laughs> ask your dad to grow a mustache <laughs> do not imagine anything by the way what you draw only what you see okay thank you thank you all of you i think this is extremely we have we still have 92 91 participants and that that actually means a lot that all of you actually came please continue drawing okay i'll i'll yeah, i'm going to email it to you and i'm going to tell you what to do with these drawings right as of now you do not have to show anybody not even to me right just 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 let it be there let it be there in that piece of paper and and uh, just uh, i think that that's that's good enough okay okay pallavi says thanks govind aarti says thanks okay so thank you so much it was wonderful uh with you hope i was audible throughout today and there was no uh, sound disturbances i will be in some different location tomorrow 
and I'm going to teach something new tomorrow, right? Meanwhile, just practice drawing objects, uh, pets, human beings in the way they are, in the way the light is falling, the way it is happening. Just try and capture that, okay? Take care. Have a very nice day. Stay safe. Stay at home and be good. Stay healthy. Tada.